So about to start the game is going to be the new signing for Forestfield, Colum Roberts. He's going to kick us off. Uh, good to see him get his starting bit. And away we go. This NPL round two game between Forestfield United and Armadale Soccer Club is underway. This is the Eastern Corridor Derby, as the saying goes. Ran the trap, says, and he played yep, for just about many, everyone. Many times. Jeb, good interception. Is he going to have a shot? He is going to try one. Ooh, just wide of the post. What a good effort by, uh, by Jeb. Unbelievable. Effort. And uh, controlling the match. Our stats man is trying to tell us here that we've got about 75% possession. <laughs> Very accurate stats man. Oh, God, yeah. And there's oh, Sinclair oh. through. He had a chance. Why did he go with his foot? Well, particularly if Armadale uh, struggled to test the keeper. Yeah, well. Uh, he's see. The, being promoted from the reserves. Yes. Uh, because of the injury to uh, Martina and uh, not, a, not a shot on target yet. Free kick in, long in, and he's up and good. He, he's done and well. holds well under pressure too. Wasn't even going to get a free by the sounds of it. Uh, Normally very, anybody touches a goalkeeper and it's a free. Uh, very strong there from Benjamin Parry. Good work. Yeah. And into the middle. And there. Yeah, Barker, but here we go with a chance. A shot. Oh, oh, good save. stop. Very good stop by the Forest Field keeper there. Good. That'll give him the world of confidence. Free kick. In it comes. Lobbed in. Ahead of clear again. As I say, Kenneth trying the long range shot. Oh, that was a Ooh. flick there. And that was so close. Oh, so close. He just didn't get the, the right on at Atkins. He had a chance, but he just couldn't get the touch to it. Right. Dobbs. Dobbs. Oh, lovely ball through. Here's Loxley. Loxley, can he pull it back? He does pull it back. Oh, and good stop. Very good stop by Hutchings. That was a very good save. Yeah. The corner now from the left-hand side. Cross into the box. Good header. Cleared off the line by Merrigan. Good. And now with the ball. Spreads it wide. Ooh, and that's interception there. And Loxley has won it. Now a chance. Pulls it back to Roberts. Roberts ball blocked. There goes number 12. Oh. Dobbs had the chance. That's another chance gone missing. So, here comes the corner. And ball played back. Lawson crosses it in. Flicked on again. And back to the far post. And... The ball has been hit wide, but the flag was up anyway for offside, so it wouldn't have counted one way or the other. And there is the halftime whistle here from Wildlife Safari Park. And the scoreline reads a Forest Field United nil, Armadale nil. There was a number of chances to both sides in that first half, and uh, probably Armadale finishing the stronger there with that corner. But uh, as I say, at the moment, it reads Forest Field nil. Armadale nil. And welcome back to Wildlife Safari Stadium for the second half. And there's been a couple of substitutions at half time. As for Forest Field, coming on is Jordan Hart to replace Reese Loxley. And for Armadale, coming on is Alex Bond to replace number six, Kevin Castle. So they're the two changes at the start of the second half whether he likes it or not. <laughs> on, the, on the public holiday, no less. <laughs> yeah. You're a slave driver, mate. What's oh, wrong I know, with you? that's me. But a forest field now, here's a break. The can Merrigan get it? Yes, he can. Here is... Oh, that's a penalty. Has to be. It is a penalty. It is a penalty. Dave and L. Putting Dave the challenge L in there. takes down Callum Roberts on the edge, inside in the box, and it was a clear-cut penalty. Absolutely no doubt about that. Now, will the referee show a card here? Well, we don't know. There shouldn't really be a need for a card. A free kick, it's a penalty. That's good enough for me. Now, this act that every foul in the penalty area has to be a yellow card is absolute bulldust, as far as I'm concerned. There's a big penalty and a Sinclair that's going to take it. So, the goal scorer, Hassani Sinclair, has the chance to give Forest Field the lead here against Armadale. Balls on the penalty spot. He stands back. Goalkeeper Hutchings, who's done very well so far. Sinclair has not been his confident self today, so let's see if it transpires in the penalty. 
Here he comes. And there it is, 1-0 for Forest Fields. Well Brilliantly taken. taken. Hassani Sinclair once again this week scores the goal that gives Forest Field the lead in a match. So that's two weeks in a row he has given them the lead. This time from the penalty spot after Callum Roberts was brought down by uh, David Annell following a great through ball by the Forest Field team. So that's it, 1-0 for Forest Field in this Eastern Corridor Derby. That, how about that tea cosy? <laughs> <laughs> Dog and man enjoying it. The cross comes in. Oh, the tempted header. And the ball pulled back now. Barnett. It's Barnett. He's looking for somebody to pass it to. He's got Merrigan. Merrigan plays it out again on the ah. outside. Hart crosses it in. in. Good header. There was a chance. There was a clear header. And I think it was uh, Sinclair that had the, the chance to head it down. He just didn't get the proper connection on the header. So, yeah, mind you, uh, they take it short. So that screws that one up. Now, the Silva, he tries and it crosses blocked. But another crossover, headed clear. And Dobbs tries to get it down, but it's taken down. And there's a deflection, but the ball comes straight into the arms. Well, not the arms. Via the bounce into the arms of Parry. And I'll tell you what. Oh, there's a push in the back, sure, but it's, it's got away. And here comes De Silva. De Silva does nicely. Gets around his man and gets for the return ball. Crosses it into the centre. Head it to, and that was a handball. It's a penalty. Southgate. So, here we go again. A penalty. The ball came in. He went for the ball. And yes, indeed it was. A handball and, well, now that's a bit harsh to get a, a yellow card as well. Yeah, clear, I certainly clearly, don't think it was clearly struck the hand though. Yes. A goal so, scoring opportunity. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. I, yes, it struck the hand. It definitely was a penalty. But now, who's going to take this one? It's. Ball's on the spot. I think it's number eight, Mike Lawson, is it? Who's going to take it? Well, it's hard to tell. Because nobody is really lining up for it at this stage. But it must be Lawson. As you can see, they're all on the edge of the box. So who's taking the penalty? Obviously, Lawson it is. Here he comes. And it's in! That's 1-1! One, one. The goalkeeper did very well to get a hand to it. But hang on. Wait a minute. The referee has pulled it back. It's got to be retaken for encroachment. There was encroachment and that was a good save or a good attempted save by the goalkeeper. He went the right way. He got a strongish hand, but the referee has pulled it back. So it is a retake. More pressure builds. The pressure builds again on Mike Gloss. Will he go the same side this time? No, he goes the opposite side and smacks it into the back of the net. 1-1, one, one, brilliant penalty. Mike Lawson scores. 1-1, one, one, so... Well, Forrest been for the second week in a row. After a, being in the lead, get pulled back to 1-1. One, one. Sorry, Murray. What a great penalty. Struck it, it struck it hard in the left-hand corner. Keeper with no chance. Yeah. And the score, one all between Forest Field and Armadale. That's right. We're now in a situation where we've got... The free kick going to be taken by Galami in the end. He takes that. Oh, it got a deflection off something. Three here for Armadale. Not long left to play for. Yep. And it's going to be taken by Costello. Closer in. Towards the far post. Oh! That, and that was, that had a, a little bit of last week in it where the ball came into that far post and then was just knocked, headed into the back of the net. But. Yeah, Armadale obviously done their home work. They saw another goal was scored out. by Floriot. Forest Field come out. Down the line we go. Ball into this. Oh. Oh, here's a chance now. And there's a chance. And there. Oh, oh, just the wrong side wide. of the post from Hart. He was in only the keeper to beat, but he pushed it the wrong side of the post. What a chance. So it still remains one goal apiece here at Forest Field. Yeah, DeRosa now with a throw in. There's a Kenna. Kenna. Nicely in the corner. Can he get across? He got a very good cross. Oh, oh, there was a straight. Oh, an absolute, absolute clean header there. Score still one all. So still one all. And by the way, Perth have taken the lead 4-2 against, or sorry, 2-1 against Sorrento. Coburn lead Sterling 4-2.
in the other game. Now, up the far end of the ground, and there's Sinclair trying to go through again, but the referee just turns his back. No foul, no foul. Yeah, I think Sinclair went down <laughs> a little bit too easily yeah. there, as he has been all night. You think maybe the other uh, the other times were weighing on the referee's mind there? Move. Hits it long, heading towards Sinclair. Sinclair's up in the corner, and the keeper's lost the ball. And Sinclair again, oh, brilliant stop by the goalkeeper. Absolutely superb by Hutchings. He really didn't see that until the very last second. Great effort by Sinclair on the ground. He got the shot on target. Hutchings saved it. And now, Forrest Veen coming away again. Uh, Hutchings. So, long kick. And there it is. That's the final whistle here from Wildlife Safari Stadium in Forest Field with the final score. And again, I suppose Forest Field a little bit disappointed to have only come away with a point out of this game. But in the end, probably a deserved point for Armadale. They were better towards the second half of the second half. And the final score here, Armadale, or sorry, Forest Field won. A goal scored in the 63rd minute, a penalty by Hassani Sinclair. Sinclair. And the equaliser, also a penalty by Mike Lawson. That came in the 77th minute. And as I say, the final score here, Forest Field, Forest Field United won. Armadale Soccer Club won and we're going to try and grab somebody for an interview very very shortly here on the Pro Cam Let's Talk Football Forest Field production of this live stream here in NPL Round 2.